everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video i want to share a small travel capsule that fits in a carry-on it has been so long since i've made one of these but i know that a lot of us can finally start traveling again and even if that's just locally or for a couple days i wanted to put this together to really showcase how versatile a few pieces can be and if you have a little bit of thought before you start packing you can end up with a variety without overpacking so i want to go over this hypothetical capsule today with the weather, the color palette, and all the items, and then a ton of different outfits so that you can use it as some inspiration for any trips that you're going to take. So let's get started. So for the sake of this hypothetical capsule, I'm working with summer and I'm keeping the weather kind of close to what I have. So warm and warm all day long, definitely not something that gets cooler in the mornings or in the evenings. But if that's where you're living or where you're going to be traveling, then I definitely recommend throwing in a light layer maybe a sweater or a jacket and you should be able to add that really easily to everything that I have here now when it comes to the color palette because I love a color palette I've decided to keep it really basic with a couple pops of color so for my base colors which make up the most items in this capsule I have black and white and then for the accent colors I've got a little bit of red a tiny bit of green some blue and some pink now, when it comes to the length of the trip for this hypothetical capsule, I started out planning it with about five days in mind, but then as I started doing it, I got carried away because I love doing these. So I wanted to make it a little bit on the bigger side so that you could subtract things if you're taking a shorter trip. So if you're somewhere in the three to five day range, you could definitely remove some things. But as you'll see from the end of the video, I was able to create over 20 outfits with these pieces. So if you're going for a longer trip this should be able to work as a pretty good framework for you plus when it comes to summer it's easy because pieces fold up a little bit smaller so you can fit a little bit more into your carry-on which i really love now let's go over everything that i've included within this capsule so like i mentioned at the beginning i made this a lot bigger than i needed to and you can definitely subtract some things if you're going on a shorter trip but if you're going on a longer trip this should definitely be sufficient and as you'll see you can create a ton of outfits with this so the individual breakdown of everything is three printed t-shirts, one white cotton poplin shirt, one short sleeve silk blend shirt that's a little bit dressier than your standard t-shirt, one black skirt, one pair of skinny black pants to dress things up a little bit, one printed skirt, a pair of pink shorts, and a pair of jeans. I've also included a printed dress that you can dress up and down, a pair of mules, a pair of cap toe pumps, a pair of white sneakers, and then a lot of bags because I wanted a lot of variety, but again, definitely make this less or more depending on your trip. So I've got a round straw bag, a green clutch that's basically the size of a wallet, and then I have a small structured green bag and a red bag. And as you can see, everything fits really nicely into my carry-on suitcase with enough room left over for my underwear and my pajamas. And then any last minute things that I might think of, I can just fit into the open spaces. I've also removed my travel outfit. That always consists of the bulkier items so they don't take up valuable space in my suitcase. So for the sake of this capsule, that's the sneakers, the jeans, one of the t-shirts, and then the red bag. I always like to have a purse within my personal bag that goes on top of my suitcase so that I have easy access to anything I might need. And then also within that personal bag, that's where I put my makeup, my toiletries, and any hair tools I might need. So I'm not going to go into that because I've done that in a lot of videos and how I depot things and save space. So I will link those here for you. But now I want to go over the outfits I was able to create. These are a ton of outfits, like I said, and hopefully they'll give you some inspiration and get you excited. So like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.